What's going on YouTube? I'm Chris here. We come back at y'all with another vid. What we have here today, man. I've been seeing a lot of people and a lot of people's deeming me and like at, like just tell me their story and I, you know, I feel really bad about people getting scammed. And trust me, getting scammed is probably at least top 3 if not number 1 worst thing that could ever happen. You feel like crap, you feel like you got cheated on. It just, it's all around bad. Nobody out there wants to get scammed. I hate hearing stories about it. I hear it all the time. Certain things could be prevented, you know, looking at hindsight 2020. But sometimes you kind of, you go through the emotions you, and then you go through the deal and you, you know, it just, it just kind of just happens. It's an accident. It happens to the best of us. It all happens to all of us. In all the years that I've come through, I learned a few things how not to get you know scammed and just a, take a little precaution don't get me wrong i have felt i have gotten scammed a couple of times and it, it sucks i know the feeling man i hate it it's just all around bad man no one deserves to get scammed for real it's, it's just terrible unless you're a scammer then you deserve to get scammed <laughs> there's a couple of things that i do that way i can just prevent it and try not to get scammed or you know if i feel like it, i'm going to get scammed i just don't do it because i feel like it's going through all the steps and it's not falling through with it well, here's my tips for you not to get scammed. So number one is as a buyer, you know, a lot of plate right now we're going through this like situation. So a lot of people's buying stuff online and a lot of people have gotten scammed by, let's say people's like stealing other people's pictures. You know, they're showing that they got like 20 boxes of this and that. If you want to make sure it's them, make sure all the flooring is correct. All the wall is exactly the same if they're not stealing other people's pictures because that's how people get scammed. And another way is make sure they always tag their picture. What I mean by tag, ask them to tag their pictures. Have like all their boxes, like, you know, usually they have a whole bunch of shoes and boxes. Make sure they put their screen name or their name on the picture. So that way you know it's them. They had to write, they have to write it down on a piece of paper and put it on the, on the picture so that way you make sure that they're you know they're not stealing they're not stealing people's pictures because if they're stealing people's pictures most likely they don't have it and it's always going to be a scam and i run through the people like well they have like a 14 day return fee bro it's not a store you don't know them it doesn't mean anything okay so first things first another way how not to get scammed Seriously guys, seriously, seriously. I, I hear this all the time. If you don't know the person, if you do not know them at all, and they have no name or anything, do not pay through cake, uh, Cash App, do not pay through uh, Venmo, do not pay by Apple Pay, only do PayPal invoice. If you do not know them and they have like a small name, they have, their face is not even on their Instagram page or Facebook or whatever, do not do any of those things because they're not protected. You have to do PayPal invoice, trust me. Uh, if they say like, hey, well, if this is the case, you know, PayPal invoice charges more fee, pay for that extra fee if you have to. Whatever they, the deal is, you have to do. You know, negotiations, all about talk and communication. Trust me, especially do not do Western Union. Please, for the love of God, everyone out there, I've seen so many people get scammed by doing that. I don't know why would you do that. Seriously, if you do by a cash app and stuff like that, maybe if you use your credit card, you can like maybe file a claim or something. I, I don't know. I've never done it like that. But my golden rule is this, is like if something's over like $500 or something like that, I always do PayPal invoice, no matter who, if I know you. Now, sometimes if they do have a big name and it's someone that you trust, you know, like me. <laughs> no, but for real, there's other people out there that I've done deals with that I have done with. Uh, Venmo and Pay and uh, Cash App because I trust them. I know who they are. They have a face, and trust me, they don't want to ruin that reputation. You know, so only trust people that you actually trust that are very reliable. Because if they're losing money, like if they're trying to scam or shoes, trust me, they they got a lot more to lose. So another way not to get scammed is you have to know some information about the shoe, guys. You just have to know. You have to know the difference between real and fake. Sometimes people sell. Uh, they say that they're real and they sell you fakes. Make sure you get all the pictures that you want. Um, ask them all for details, get a legit check. Trust me, I've gotten like so, uh, so many freaking DMs about legit checks. I cannot go through all my DMs and check them. Like, I'm sorry guys, I, I do my best, but sometimes I just can't I can't get them all. But, but if you send over some uh, bubble tea, you know, maybe we can work something out. You have to know some information guys. Uh, ask for the box tag, ask for the label, ask for every angle of the shoe, 
just everything the label inside the label too the, sh the, sh the toe box shape trust me if it's a if the picture they send you is a little sketchy like it's too blurry not good lighting most likely they're trying to hide something you know what i mean that they're doing it like a certain angle like this so you can't see it's you have to take precaution like that like i make sure i ask for every angle there is like it has to be like this like that i don't and also ask for every angle sometimes factory flaws the factory flaws I, I i get it i've seen so many deals have gone bad that way you know especially at like you know some events and stuff like that i've seen so many bad deals like that because they just didn't know what to look for and you had to check it man you have you always it's like test driving a car you had to test drive the car before you buy it right Right? And just, I know a lot of people's making deal by via like Instagram, marketplace, stuff like that, meetups. Uh, not really meetups right now, but it's definitely a lot of Instagram and marketplace right now. And people's taking advantage. So you have to be very, very careful, guys. Make sure there's a lot of communication, make sure people know them, ask for reference, you know, stuff like that. People usually, if they're a good reseller on Instagram, like people have good Ripple reseller, they'll always have a spot, like a post for reference. And most people will comment down legit, legit, fast shipping, stuff like that. If you're a good, decent reseller, most people will have a reference post and they'll say, hey guys, can you make sure you comment down below on the reference page? That's one way to do it on Instagram. Ask them for a reference. Uh, Cause don't just ask them, like, yo, well you can ask this guy, this guy. Usually they're just their buddy and they're trying to scam you. You know, make sure they actually have a post just to be safe, you know, just to be safe because you know, you know, people deal with them before. It's like a, it's like a Yelp review, <laughs> you know what I mean? So if you're a good re uh, reseller, most people should have rep, rep uh, post. Uh, so that's just for online deals. Uh, that's usually the basic that I go through how not to get scammed. Uh, hopefully that helps you guys out. But if you guys also do local meetups or even events, stuff like that, you know, person to person, a lot of cash flow usually happens deal. If not, sometimes even PayPal or, you know, whatever the case is, cash app, so on and so forth. Now, as a buyer and a seller, you know, it's, it's kind of tough to do. It's, it's every way you have to negotiate, it's going to be a lot of trust. Uh, the way I always do it, like a local meetup, I always make sure you guys meet up in local places, guys, and also public places where there's a lot of people. I get it right now, we're going through the situation, so it's not really a place a lot, a lot of open. You know, I ask to meet up inside of uh, like a, you know, a Starbucks, uh, meet inside the mall, stuff like that where it's public, you know, so nothing crazy can happen, you know. Uh, God forbid, I don't want anyone to get robbed or anything crazy like that, or even killed for a pair of shoes. That's, uh, that's god awful. Always ask for meet in public places stuff like that and before you get a deal going on make sure you have the price negotiated beforehand make sure you guys ask for pictures beforehand ask all the questions you possibly can make sure it's ds uh, the pricing stuff like that and of course when you guys meet up you definitely have to check the shoe 100 check the shoe don't just like okay thank you bam and then give them the money that's that's awful you can do totally 100 get scammed like that always check the shoe before you give cash in hand because once you give cash, it's a done deal. Uh, sometimes I like to do before local, especially if it's a local meetup, if you have your local, like, you know, Facebook or some of that, ask for ref reference for the guy. If people know him, like, hey, do you know, you know, John Smith, you know, ask for reference. And people will say, yeah, I know him, did a deal before. So you know you're good to go. If people don't know him, it might be a little sketch. So just be very careful on that. But if you do meet up, make sure you check the shoe. Maybe he's a new seller, stuff like that. Check the box, is everything okay? You know, stuff like that. Always check the shoe, of course. As always, check the label. You know, uh, if you don't know exactly what to look for, it's usually with fake shoes, uh, is a smell. Of course, it usually have that authentic smell. Uh, trust me, smell goes a long way. It really does. Touch, feel, stuff like that. The prime net, everything. That's, that's on a pair of Yeezys. Even with Jordans and stuff like that. Fakes usually have this strong, like a uh, glue odor smell if you smell it. So that's usually a red flag. So just keep checking, make sure they don't sell you anything fake. And if you guys do, let's say like uh, as a seller, if you guys do through say, uh, I don't have no cash through PayPal, that's kind of scary too, because you don't know the buyer. What he can do is he'll take your shoe and then later he'll do a charge back. So you gotta be careful on that. That's why as a seller, I like to do cash if it's local meetups or events, stuff like that. Um, or if it is cash or through the via apps, I would probably have to do cash app so on and so forth because you know you're, you're making a deal already you should be good to go now above all 100 percent usually guys if the price is too good to be true it usually is 
Trust me. So uh, this is the hot shoe. So everyone's trying to buy off-white fives or something like that. You're trying to buy these. The guy said, hey, I'll ship this to you, uh, if you but I can only take Cash App or PayPal friends and family uh, for um, 500 bucks. That is such a red flag, like crazy. Like such a red flag. Come on guys, say, hey, do you want this pair size nine? Uh, just give me 500 bucks ship. You know, about 400 to 500 bucks ship. That sounds like a great deal. Wow, he's giving you such a great deal. You're getting this steal. Shit, he's stealing your shoe. Trust me, ain't nobody trying to lose big money like that. I don't care, they. The, he better be your best friend or something. Trust me, ain't nobody trying to lose big money on that. Especially this time of need. Oh, I just need the money right now. Nah, nah, nah. Bulk BS, bro. Ain't no one trying to lose no money, okay? That if the price is too good to be true, it usually always is. The payout for $700 for these things is still $620. And if he's selling for $500, you tell me he's going to want to lose $120? I mean, trust me, I'm nice, but I ain't that nice. So that's a red flag. Trust me, guys. I could understand the girl for 700 and he's like, yo, it's like six, the payout's 620. He's like, hey, I'll do 630 shipped or six, you know, 600 plus shipping. You know, some of that, that makes more sense to me. Things, just use logic, guys. It gotta make sense, you know? Um, I get it, some people just wanna get deals. Everybody wants to get a good deal. Trust me, I want a good deal. Everybody wants a good deal, but at the end of the day, it's it gotta use logic, gotta make sense. Trust me, I get a lot of DMs about you know people getting scammed and stuff like that, and, and I hate it. I wish I can help everybody. You know, I make these videos for you know saving lives and and uh, you know trying to help people not getting scammed. I, I do my best. I really do. You know, I hate seeing it because I've been there before. I hate seeing it, guys. At the end of the day, trust your gut. Trust your gut. Uh, good luck out there, guys. I hope you guys don't get, I hope no one out there gets scammed. I hope this video will help you guys out, you know, especially for new coming uh, buyers and stuff like that. Maybe you've been doing this for a while, so you already know all this. Maybe this video is not for you. If you or if you have more tips, please comment down below. Help more people out, you know, give more information. The more information everyone gets, the better it is, okay? Uh, appreciate you guys. Uh, you know, we're all still going through these things. We're still trying to pump out these videos. I appreciate every single one of y'all. Thank you guys so much. Uh, if you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if your first time here. Comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications for when I do drop vids. Don't forget to follow me at all my social media, at Jumpin' Chris on IG. Sometimes I'm on Twitter. And don't forget Snapchat. Anyway, guys, I'm Jumpin' Chris. Stay safe. Be safe. Peace. Pew.